Hi everyone, hope you're doing alright. Welcome back to HFV. We'll be back in the city of the Vierda statues again today. It's Borås in Sweden and we are watch their team, six times champions of Sweden, EF Elfsborg. They are playing against one of Stockholm's three big teams, champions of Sweden in 2001, Hammarby EF. It's round 28 of Allsvenskan, the third last round of the Swedish first tier and only the top three have the chance of winning it now. However, it's gonna be Hecken most likely since they have a six point lead on top. This game would mean a lot more to Hammarby Bayern as their supporters also call them if they would have won their previous game but they drew 1-1 at home against Eco Sirius and dropped back to the third place. I've filmed several matches of both Elsport and Hammarby so far. You can find all of them in the Sweden playlist, link in the description box below. We will make our way to Boros Arena now, where our game takes place today. The previous meeting of these two finished 3-0 to Hammarby earlier this season. Do Elsport stand a chance regardless? I think they do, because Allsvenskan is the most unpredictable league in Europe. But let's see it ourselves. How do we get to Borås? This is Gothenburg, the second biggest city in Sweden and we'll take bus number 100, exactly this one, but the other way that takes us to Borås from Gothenburg. I don't wanna How do you see Hamarby's chances today? I think we have good chances. Obviously, we have the supporters, um, and I also think we have the players and the, the ability to uh, take on the win here today. What's your score prediction for today? I think 3-2 uh, to Hammarby. 3-2 to Hammarby. Yeah, yeah. Your score for today? Score prediction? 2-3. So 3-2 as well. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you.
Incredibly big chance for Elfsborg, 25th minute, could have been easily the 1-0.
33rd minute, one nail Elsborg. And deservedly, because even though Hammarby had much more of the ball, Elsborg had the more dangerous chances. And a really accurate ball into the box, which you saw, I filmed the last part of it, when it dropped, and uh, it was great ball handling, a shot, and also a lucky rebound inside the six-yard box, pass into the open net, one nail for the home side. Decent chance on the counter for Hammarby. Great defensive work by Asport. Left side offensive. He goes both. Hammarby are the better side on paper, slightly. They also have a better season than Asbury. Asbury have a poor season compared to their standards. Looking at this first half, Hammarby were basically dominant, especially in the first half. But then Asbury came away and they were really dangerous on the counters. And they scored one of these possibilities. They had a crossbar hit as well before the goal. Hammarby had a post hit after Ludwigsson's shot, which uh, I don't know whether it was intentional or not, but it was a dangerous shot, but as we lead deservedly. Let's see about the second half. I hope it's going to be as enjoyable as the first one. Esbor's defense missed out on the arriving striker after the great delivery. He could have the ball into the net inside the six yard box. The limbs were great. We are close to the away fans, hoping to see more of the same here in this game.
87th minute, Ricky Coronel Bay played short. What a twist here right before the end. 2 1 Elsborg in of the post. Flash shot inside the box after a flat cross. The limbs were great on the other side as well. And three minutes of additional time now. I like a ghost now. It's hard to find a suitable angle to film in the dark. This was a massive day in Swedish football. Elfsborg won against Hammarby. It was kind of against the odds, but they were slightly better. They had more shots, more shots on target as well, even though this wasn't one of their best seasons. But still, they were decent today. They were in the moment. And there were some other results we have to talk about. Birko Heck and candidates, favorites for the Allsvenskan title 1-2-1 one, one against Malmö FF despite a person being sent off. They scored with 10 men to make it 2-0 and it finished 2-1. Hammarby are out of the title race with this defeat but they still have a decent chance for European spot which is either second or the third place. And as I mentioned Hecke moved incredibly close to their first ever Allsvenskan title. Only Jur Gordon can stop them but quite big odds for that. And also, you're going to are playing tomorrow, so they have to win in order to still 
maintain a chance for themselves. They're in the Conference League as well, but that's another topic. And also, Degafosh won against Helsingborg, relegating the champions of 2011. That's about it, guys. I'm in Gothenburg now for tomorrow's match, EF Göteborg against Oiko. It will be a cracker. You'll see that vlog on the channel, I think, one day after the game. Thank you very much for your attention and the time you spent with this video. Make sure to check the Sweden playlist link below. This was actually the first time I saw EF Esbord winning. This was my fourth Esbord game and they were losing against OIK last year 2-4. Then they were losing against Mielbu in the Hemma Premier, the first game of the season this year. And also away against your Gordon, I vlogged all of these games and they finally won today. The curse on the channel is broken. If you're up for more, there are some social media accounts related on the channel. You can see all of them on the screen. Thank you very much once more for joining me. I was HFV, hoping to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.